Last week, Mike Lindell once again went on a tear on, of course, Steve Bannon's podcast, because I, I guess Steve Bannon can't find any other guests to come on. But either way, Mike Lindell, CEO of My Pillow, was furious about the fact that the Washington Post, as he calls it, was about to put out what he called a hit piece on him, which essentially just debunked all of the lies that the man has been telling for uh, the last seven or eight months. Take a look at Mike Lindell having his latest meltdown on Steve Bannon's podcast. Here it is. The Washington Post is coming out with an article, and they're tomorrow, today or tomorrow, and it's gonna, it's bringing up. Uh, uh, Michigan says that their things are all good. It's bringing up all these other things. But in there, they're going to say that what I have is hogwash. That's a quote. And they and I said, well, where did you get that quote? He says, we got it from some some uh, professor at some university. I said, well, next time, why don't you go get it from a gardener or, um, you know, or some teacher? <laughs> you know, that's what I told him. I said, you need to go get it from a cyber forensic expert that has CISSP credentials. I told him, I told him, I dared the Washington Post, I said, you guys go ask any cyber expert that has those credentials and say, Mike Lindell has every packet captured from the election and see what he has to say to you. And then see, I'd say, what would, what would you, what if this is true, if Mike has all this, then what would you say? Every cyber expert in the country is gonna say, it's over, everybody. Once we have this symposium, Donald Trump will be back in. We'll have to have a new, a new inauguration. It's going to be beautiful. What the Washington Post, Washington Post, that's how you say that word, Mike. What the Washington Post did was not a hit piece, Mike. It was a fact check. It was a debunking, again, of the lies that you have been telling for, what, seven or eight months at this point. No, you do not have any evidence. No, you do not have these cybersecurity experts with that CISPS, whatever thing, certification you claim they have. They, no, none of what you're saying is real, dude. The evidence is simply not there. And you may have, you may have these people with certifications working for you or with you or whatever, but they're not finding any of the evidence that you claim they are. And we know that because you're not out there actually showing it. You have had multiple opportunities, both in public and of course in court, to prove that you have this evidence and you have repeatedly failed to do it. If you did in fact have this evidence, the uh, defamation lawsuits against you would have already been dropped because what you would have said would have been accurate. The fact that these lawsuits have not been dropped and that they are still ongoing shows that you do not in fact have this evidence. And I want everybody to really understand that. Okay. Mike Lindell is not sitting there and waiting to blow these lawsuits out of the water. He's not, he doesn't have the evidence. Cause if he did, he would have gone ahead, gotten his lawyers to submit that evidence. The lawsuits would have been uh, dismissed. And then that would have bolstered his case. It would have been a great, huge publicity stunt for Mike Lindell to do this. And he would have taken that opportunity. He hasn't because he's still lying through his teeth. Although to be honest, I don't think he thinks he's lying. I honestly believe that Mike Lindell honestly believes what he is saying. The man is not well. I firmly believe in my non-medical expert opinion, because I'm not a medical expert, but I firmly believe there's something wrong with him, something severely mentally wrong with him. That, that's my personal opinion here. And I think that those closest to him, his friends, his allies, business partners, whatever it is, y'all need to get a hold of this man and send him in for an involuntary 72 hour psychiatric hold. That's what needs to happen. Mike Lindell needs to be Baker acted. And he needs to have actual mental health experts, people who know what they're doing. Look at him. He needs to have brain scans done to find out if there is actual brain damage. If perhaps there's, there's any kind of Alzheimer's or dementia, uh, kicking around in there, something that could possibly be visible on a scan. He needs to talk to the psychiatrist. He needs to speak to the professionals and see if they can get to the root of this as if this is purely a psychological, not just a biological problem. But again, I'm no mental health expert. I'm just telling you what your friends, your family, 
anybody will passing you on the street perchance needs to do with you because this isn't normal and it sure as hell isn't funny. You have hundreds of people that work for your company, maybe more than hundreds and their livelihoods are going down the tube because you're acting so crazy. I hope people understand the human side of this. Okay. Yes. Mike Lindell, we can all pretty much agree our opinions that he's a nut, but that doesn't mean that there's not people whose livelihoods depend 100% on him. And the more he goes out there and makes this stupid talk, the more companies stop selling his pillow, puts those workers at risk. If there is any kind of board of directors with my pillow, they need to go ahead and do a Papa John to him, kick him out of his own company for the good of the company. And of course, send him in for that involuntary 72 hour hold. That's what needs to happen now because something is wrong with Mike Lindell. I firmly believe that. And Steve Bannon is exploiting it to increase his view count.